This is the lower sec year 12. Uh, the topic we're doing is uh, decision maths, the D1 unit in the maths AS. Today we're looking at, the main theme is critical path analysis. Um, they've done some background to setting up a network diagram based on critical path. Um, what they're going to be looking at today is putting the numbers in. Um, we're also going to be doing some reflection on previous topics. Um, I'm a big believer in um, interleaving topics, so constantly going back over things they've done before. So they'll also be doing an exercise on a previous algorithm called Dijkstra's algorithm and also just recapping some key methods from core maths. The lesson on critical path analysis, um, it's understanding the context of it. So we looked at, um, we looked at somebody planning um, a vegetable garden. Um, so task she had to do was to get a greenhouse built to propagate the plants, to dig the beds, and they had to work out what activities could happen um, at the same time, what activities depended on each other. So, for example, you couldn't propagate the plants, apparently, until you've built the greenhouse. So, um, kind of scheduling activities in a particular order, and then building a network uh, graph to reflect that order. Yeah, good. You've done enough to convince me you know what you're doing, so just look up where you are. You don't need to finish this one. You clearly, you all know what you're doing. Um, I want to go back to the one we had before. So we filled in the times going forwards. So I want to go back to that, and I want to think about filling in the times going backwards. So it says the box underneath is the late event time. Now I don't think that's particularly helpful wording, that's what it's called, it's the late event time. But what it means is it is the latest time that you can be at that event without the project being delayed and held up. So there's one number I can fill in straight away, which is this one, which is 22. Because that project, whatever it was, the greenhouse, the, the London Eye, the whatever I've built, takes 22 units, 22 days. So for the project not to be delayed, the latest I can be there is at 22 days. If I don't complete that project in 22 days, if I'm in business, I'm probably going to have to start out paying money as a time penalty. But what about the other events? What's the latest time I can be there and the project not be delayed? See if you can work it out. So you're going to start from this end and you're going to be working in this general direction. Explain to me why that one's a 19. And then it's the 3 off the 23. It's a 19. So if I'm there at 19, um, will I finish in time? So what activities will take place after this event? What activities follow on from that event? Are there any other activities? Okay. So I'm there at 19, and then I'm going to complete this activity. I'm there at 19. So I can't start this activity till 19. What time is the project going to finish? 25. So it's basically 16. That's three days worth of, yeah, so it's got to be 16. Okay. Maddie, Lily's made the same mistake as you, and George. Can you have a look at what they've done and 